Hi guys, Sean here with photodeoxpro.com. You know, autumn is a great time of year to be a photographer. The colorful leaves give landscapes and portraits that special pop, and most of us can't help photographing the leaves themselves. Today, I'm gonna to show you some tricks for capturing macro leaf photos like these. First, you're going to need a way to shoot macro photos with your camera. If you don't have a macro lens, don't worry. PhotoDeox sells macro extension tubes that allow you to shoot macro images by simply putting space between your lens and camera. Today, I'll be using a Sony A7S and our Sony E-mount automatic macro extension tube, which includes electronic communication pins that allows the camera to continue to control the lens. If you shoot with a different brand of camera, odds are PhotoDeox has a macro tube for you too. Here's a list of camera mounts we make macro tubes for. Before you mount your macro extension tube, choose how close you want your lens to focus. The longer you leave your tube, the closer it'll focus and the more cropped the image will be. I'm going to go with both the 10 and 16 millimeter extension tubes to get the best results with the leaves I'm photographing. To mount your macro tube, just line up the mounting dot on your lens with the mounting dot on the front of the tube. Push the lens and tube together and rotate the lens to lock it into place. Then just line up the mounting dot on the back of the tube with the mounting dot on your camera and mount it to the camera. With our automatic macro extension tubes, you'll be able to power the lens's autofocus and control its aperture. With our non-auto adapters, you'll have to adjust your lens manually. Capturing autumn leaves outside is fun, but what about bringing an autumn leaf inside? To get the best macro leaf shot in your studio, you're going to need a macro extension tube and some lights. You can use camera flashes or strobes, but for this shoot, I'm going to use two of our C200 flapjacks. Our flapjack LED edge lights are beautifully diffused LED lights, perfect for portraits and product photography. For my first setup, I'm going to simply lay the leaf on the tabletop and light it with the two flapjacks, mounted on two of our mini tabletop tripods so I can get them closer to the leaf. And here are my results. Now these photos are pretty nice, but what if we used a flapjack as a backlight? For these shots, I'm going to tilt one of the flapjacks back and place a leaf directly on it. If your leaves are wet or dirty, you may want to place them on a sheet of glass over the light to protect it. As you can see, with backlighting, these macro leaf photos suddenly became way more detailed and interesting. This is also a great setup for shooting beautiful macro video. And there you go. With just a couple simple steps, you can shoot macro leaf photography with your camera. If you'd like to learn more about the products featured in today's videos, click right here. And click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with Photo Deox. Thanks for watching.